When it comes to relocating to Nevada, one of the most desirable and highly sought after neighborhoods is Summerlin. This master plan community is known for its location, top rated schools, and wide variety of housing options. As a current Summerlin resident, I understand what life can be like when you live here as a local. And in this video, I'm gonna show you around Summerlin to give you an idea of what life can be like when you live in one of the top communities in Las Vegas. So stay with me to the end of this video because I'll be giving you a first-hand perspective on what life can be like when you relocate to Summerlin, Nevada. A big part about relocating to Las Vegas is finding a community that fits your lifestyle. Summerlin is a unique master plan community that is found on the northwest side of Las Vegas. It also happens to be the largest master plan community in all of Las Vegas, as well as the top rated master plan community in the whole country. If you take a look at this map, you see that Summerlin is broken up into Summerlin North, South, and West. Summerlin West is a great area to invest in right now because it's new and still being developed. I'll be showing you new construction homes there later in this video. Summerlin is located adjacent to the Red Rock Canyon spanning 22,000 acres with 250 parks, different hiking trails, community pools, and 26 public and private schools. I think Summerlin is a luxury community to live in because almost everything you could think of needing can be found here. Right now I'm walking around Summerlin's downtown area which has a variety of shopping retail stores, restaurants, and is very family friendly. When I'm visiting downtown Summerlin, some of my favorite places to eat are Jean and La Neta. La Neta is an elevated Mexican restaurant who specializes in signature dishes that are not only visually appealing, but also delicious in flavor. They have great happy hour and brunch specials, which make them a local favorite. If you like going to places off the strip, but have strip vibes, then you have to check out Jean. I'm telling you that this place is an absolute party when you get the chance to visit. There's music, bottle service, and live entertainment, which makes it an all time party. It's a really fun time if you want to get out and have fun with your friends without ever going to the strip. Along with all the shopping and dining available in downtown Summer, you also have the Las Vegas Ballpark and City National Arena. Both of these facilities are home to our minor league baseball team as well as our professional hockey team. The minor league team is called the Las Vegas Aviators and they play their home games at the stadium behind me. If you ever have the opportunity to see a game at the Las Vegas Ballpark, you can enjoy poolside services as well as cabanas. This is literally something that you can only have in Las Vegas. The professional hockey team here is called the Las Vegas Golden Knights and they use City National Arena for their practice facility. You can also take your kids here for ice skating as well as hockey lessons. On the weekends here downtown, you can catch the local farmer's market from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. where you can shop with local vendors for fresh produce, baked goods, and flowers. This is something I've always enjoyed doing because as a kid, my mom would take me with her every weekend to get fresh ingredients for dinner that she would cook that Sunday. As a local here in Summerlin, you have the luxury of having a local casino that caters to Summerlin residents for staycations. Red Rock Casino is an amazing local hotel with amenities inside from local businesses that you can't find on the strip. I've had the pleasure of being able to stay here on multiple occasions and I love it every time. They have one of the best pools in the city and views of the mountains. Another big thing about Red Rock that I really enjoy is their spot. I love going here when I need time to myself and time to reset. And speaking of mountains, when you visit downtown Summerlin, you are minutes away from Red Rock Canyon, where you can enjoy outdoor recreation like hiking, biking, rock climbing, and even horseback riding. Red Rock is less than 30 minutes away from the strip surrounded in nature with 360 mountain views. It's actually quite peaceful living here. Now that we've been able to cover downtown Summerlin and what it would look like living in this area, I want to take you to the best local park in Summerlin that your kids will love called Fox Hills Park. Right now we're at one of Summerlin's newest parks with spectacular views of Las Vegas. This 13 acre park is equipped with slides, zip lines, as well as climbing towers. This is a kid's dream park and on most days it's gonna be pretty busy. There's also four covered patio areas that you can use for birthday celebrations. When you're relocating to Las Vegas, I think it's important not only to find family friendly parks to play in, but also good schooling for your children. When I'm working with a new client relocating to Las Vegas, I always recommend that we find the school that you want your child to go to before we find that perfect home for you. This strategy lets us find that perfect home for you that is zoned in the area that you prefer your child to go to. And in reality, a big draw of what people love about Summerlin is the variety of school options that is available. Summerlin has a variety of educational options that include public as well as private schools. In Summerlin, you will find nine public elementary schools, 
three public middle schools, two public high schools, and two charter schools. There's also 10 private schools. As you can see, based off of the schooling options, Summerlin is a great location to live for families. Now that we've been able to talk about all of the amenities of living here in Summerlin, I wanna take you guys to go see what some of the homes look like here in Summerlin. First, I'll be taking you to a new construction community by Toll Brothers, and then we'll go and look at some resale homes. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with who I am, my name is Chris Brown, and I'm a realtor with Simply Vegas. And just like you, I wanted to move to a new city that not only made sense for my business, but also for my lifestyle. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and click the bell so you don't miss any new videos and you always know what's going on here in Las Vegas. Now I get to share with you all what a new construction home in Sunland will look like. We're currently at Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers looking at their model homes. This is a private gated community with 151 single as well as two story homes. We're also right next to Red Rock Canyon and the surrounding Summerlin areas where there's community pools, trails, and parks. Homes in this community range from a base price of $775,000 to $915,000. Now let's take a look inside and see what these model homes have to offer. The first home that we're gonna go inside today is called the Estella, and it starts with a base price of $786,000. This home has a total of three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and over 2,000 square feet. If you really think about it, that's a ton of space for a single story home. And here's a fun fact for those of you who may not know this. Single story homes cost more money than a two story home. The reason being is they acquire more land to build on. So the next time you see a single story home cost more than a two story, you know why. The first thing that you notice about this home before even entering is this large outdoor courtyard, as well as this covered entryway. As soon as you walk into this home, you're walking with a very large inviting foyer that gives you a first hand look at your outdoor patio. But before we get to that part of the home, I wanna show you this area to the right. This first room right here is gonna be a full bath with a walk-in shower. I really love the design of the tile and the texture in this bathroom. What do you guys think? Drop a comment if you like this shower. This room right here is gonna give you a very festive room for a secondary room with a smaller closet. And then as we walk this way, this is gonna be your laundry room with cabinetry above as well as the sink. You're gonna have a half bath right here. And then finally, you have this room right here that is very well put together. I love, 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 love this backdrop behind the bed with this mirror. It just gives it a nice touch to this room. And then if you walk in this way, you have a small walk-in closet. Now, as we make our way back to the rest of the home, again, that large inviting foyer, an outdoor patio. Love this kitchen. Love the fridge. They did a very nice job with this model home. And guys, I want you to remember a lot of these things that you're seeing right here are considered upgrades. This is not standard. These are A lot of these are gonna be upgrades, but they were done very well. This home is put together very nice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other part of the home, these collapsible doors. Look at that guys. So now not only do you have that inviting foyer, you can literally walk outside into your backyard, but we'll get to that part next. I wanna show you the main primary bedroom, which also has access to the backyard. I just love the designs that they did behind the beds in this room. Here's gonna be your his and her vanities, as well as a walk-in shower with the seating area. And now, ladies, we are in your walk-in closet. What do you think of this? Is this enough shoe room? Is this enough bag room? What do you ladies think about this walk-in closet? Now let's go ahead and take a look outside. And for those of you who love entertaining, love having guests over, this is an oasis of a backyard. Just look at this, guys. You have your barbecue area. You have a seating area. You have a little splash pad on your pool, the waterfalls, the fireplace. This is where you wanna be in Summerlin if you like entertaining and you love a nice view. 
The home we just toured is the smallest floor plan available here at Acadia Ridge, and now I want to take you inside the largest. The home behind me has a total of five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a total of over 2,800 square feet. Once we get inside, we'll be able to take a look at a feature of this home that a lot of people enjoy because they don't like stairs or they have older people living with them. Let's go take a look inside. Okay, now we're in the largest floor plan of this home, and when you walk in, the first thing that I notice right here are these beautiful glass doors, barn doors, that can be used for an office space, just a flex area. This also can be turned into another bedroom. And then as I spin around, you have a half bath right here, as well as your laundry room with an additional sink. How cool is that? And inside this room right here is gonna be that area that I mentioned to you that a lot of people love because they have older people living with them or they hate stairs. This is a full bedroom as well as full bathroom on the first level of this home. And if you take a look at everything there, you see a walk-in shower, you have your bed right here, as well as your closet space. So this is a great option for those of you who have those in-laws that are a little older in age and they need their own space. This is gonna be your great room, living room area right next to your kitchen. Love the cabinets in here with the waterfall island. And if you've seen some of my other new construction videos, I go into detail on all of the appliances as well as upgrades in homes. You can click on the video right here on the screen to see that video. But guys, just look at this beautiful home. And not only do you have that extra room at the front for guests, you also have your primary bedroom right here on the first floor of this home. So you have access to your backyard. And then if you turn here, you have a huge walk-in shower. Look at this. Let's take a better look at that. You have your rainfall shower head as well as your standard shower head, his and her vanity. And then here's gonna be your walk-in closet. Now let's go ahead and go upstairs and see what this home has to offer on the second story. Large loft, lots of room for entertaining. You also have an outdoor patio deck that you can open up and just take in the view of Las Vegas. Look at that. So those of you who love entertaining, this is the home for you right here in Summerlin. You have another bedroom right here. Love the decor. And lastly, this is going to be your last bedroom right here. And then you have a shared bathroom as well. Now let's take a look at the outdoor area of the backyard. Outdoor fireplace with the TV. You also have a pool as well as a hot tub. And as I mentioned to you earlier, this is gonna be your primary suite that you have access to your backyard. And as we look through the rest of the backyard, you have your grilling area, a little elevated deck to sit down and have a couple of drinks and hang out with your family or friends. And this is gonna be the backyard of this home. Today, we've been able to see shopping, dining, entertainment, as well as new construction homes here in Summerlin. And I wanna know what you think of this community so far. Do you think you can see yourself living here? If you plan on relocating to Las Vegas this year, comment the word Vegas below. And if you wanna reach out to me directly, you can find my contact information in the description below. Walking through that home, you see that new construction homes in Las Vegas are typically highly upgraded. Upgrades can add thousands of dollars to the purchase price of your home, but if you pick the right choices, it's totally worth it. And if you click on the video on the screen, you can watch my new construction home video where I go through a new build home and I give you a backstory and insight on what exactly are upgrades, what's considered an upgrade and what it costs. Because Summerlin isn't always about new build homes. It's also about resales and I wanna give you the opportunity to see what that looks like. So right now we're at a beautiful home here in Summerlin that is a resale home that I want you guys to take a look at so you can get an understanding and a perspective of what resale homes in Summerlin look like. Let's take a look inside. As you walk into the front door, the first thing that you're immediately greeted with is this beautiful chandelier. Absolutely beautiful. These are upgraded banisters that you're gonna see. And then you have a half bath right here. And then as we swing around, we're gonna walk into the living room and kitchen area. And beautiful lighting is all throughout this house. This is gonna be your kitchen area. 
Kept it very modern, all white with the quartz countertop. Love this look, love the fridge. Fun fact, I have this exact fridge at home. If you guys do not have an LG fridge, you need to get one. Those fridges are absolutely amazing. And now we're gonna turn our attention to the backyard as we can walk through a nice patio area. And there's a putting green. Privacy at its finest here in Summerlin. Don't have to worry about any nosy neighbors or anybody on the backside. And then you have this nice, beautiful putting green. And then this door right here, it actually leads to your master bedroom. And I'm gonna take you guys through and through the other side. So this space right here is gonna be your master bedroom. There's that door that we saw outside. Another beautiful lighting fixture that we saw. That's something that this owner took pride in is the lighting fixtures. And here's gonna be the countertops in the bathroom. And then as we swing around here, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful walk-in shower with the seating area, as well as a dry-off area. And then we come over here into a nice, deep walk-in closet. Now let's take a look upstairs and see what we have. There's another view of that beautiful chandelier. Drop a comment in the video if you want a chandelier like this in your home at the entryway. Upstairs area, you have a huge open loft area. And as you walk outside, you have a balcony. Really love this flooring that they did here on the balcony. And then as you can see, overlooking your backyard with your putting area. Mountain views, you have a fire station right across the street. This is gonna be one of your secondary bedrooms. Again, beautiful lighting. Bathroom down there, here's another room. Again, lighting. I like the touch that this owner put on this home. This is gonna be your laundry room, going into a secondary bathroom. And then finally, the last room in this home. And again, really nice job with this chandelier in here. It's always nice to see homes like the one we just toured because it gives you an idea of what homes in Summerlin can look like in a more established neighborhood. Now it's time for me to take you to a Summerlin favorite that features dining, restaurants, retail, as well as high-end businesses called Tivoli Village. And now we're in Summerlin at Tivoli Village, which is a local shopping plaza that is perfect for date night, drinks with friends, or brunch on the patio. And if you happen to have the chance to make it here, if you go to El Dorado Cantina, they have happy hour all the way until 3 a.m. It's a great place for awesome Mexican food and a good time. And also, many locals like to come to Tivoli Village during the holiday season because they have different events going on. Especially during the Halloween season, they do different haunted houses here. As you can see, living in Summerlin is gonna give you a high quality of life with great schools, great parks, and outdoor recreation. For this exact reason, many families end up relocating from wherever they're coming from to Summerlin. Not only do I think Summerlin is a great place to relocate for families, but I also think it's a great place to relocate if you're looking to grow within the community, especially in areas like I showed you earlier, like in Summerlin West. Summerlin's always gonna be an attractive destination to relocate because it always offers more than other areas in Vegas for residents. For more videos about relocating to Las Vegas or Henderson, click on one of the other videos on the screen. I appreciate you all watching. I'll catch you on the next one.